Turning to the latest on the murder of North Korean leader's half-brother, Malaysian police are in full control over how to handle Kim Jong-nam's body as his family had allowed them to do so. And on nine Malaysians stranded in Pyongyang, unlike how it's being reported, the country's prime minister said the official negotiation hasn't started yet. Woo Jung-hee tells us more. The fate of Kim Jong-nam's body is left up to the Malaysian authorities. Deputy Inspector General of the Malaysian Police Nor Rashid Ibrahim told reporters on Thursday that Kim Jong-nam's family allowed the Malaysian government to decide what to do with Kim's remains. Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, was assassinated at Kuala Lumpur International Airport on February 13th. The victim's identity was officially confirmed on Wednesday after authorities obtained a DNA sample from one of his children. However, neither the name of the child nor how the sample was obtained has been revealed. The deputy police chief said Kim Jong-nam's body will now be managed depending on how diplomatic negotiations between Malaysia and North Korea unfold. Bilateral relations between Kuala Lumpur and Pyongyang have been worsening over the past weeks over the murder case, with the regime banning all Malaysians in North Korea from exiting the state, a move that was responded reciprocally by Malaysia. With Pyongyang recently banning nine Malaysian nationals from leaving North Korea, Malaysia's Prime Minister Najib Razak confirmed that no official negotiation with the regime has started yet, adding that Kuala Lumpur will hold formal talks, quote, when the time comes. Oh, Johnny, I don't